Did you know a blue whale's burp can produce enough gas to inflate 2,000 party balloons? Now that's a party trick. It's a burping bombshell, right? But why do we burp, and how does it happen? The burp journey starts in your mouth, but it's not as simple as you might think. You see, every time we eat or drink, we're not just taking in food or liquid. We're also swallowing air, a silent stowaway on the voyage to our stomach. Now, certain meals are like VIP passes for air. Foods that are hard to digest, like beans or broccoli or fizzy drinks, which are literally bubbles waiting to burst, invite more air in. It's not just food playing a factor in your burping escapades. Ever noticed how you burp more when you're talking while eating? That's because you're gulping in more air than usual. Even chewing gum can turn you into a burping machine, as you're constantly swallowing air. So, we've swallowed the air, now what? Let's follow its journey. Your swallowed air doesn't just vanish, it starts to take a trip down the esophagus, a muscular tube that connects your throat to your stomach. As you keep eating and drinking, you're not just swallowing food and liquid, but also all air that comes along with it. Yes, air. It's like your body's own invisible appetizer. This air drops down the esophagus, like a miniature skydiver, and makes its way into the stomach. Once there, the air doesn't just hang around like an uninvited guest, it starts to accumulate. It's a bit like a party where everyone starts to gather in the kitchen, creating a bit of a crowd. Now, your stomach, being the gracious host that it is, decides it's time for the air to leave. And how does it do that? Well, it sends the air back up the esophagus, like a reverse bungee jump. This air, once again traveling through the esophagus, finally makes a grand exit out of the mouth. And boom! That's your burp. There's a mini-adventure happening right inside you every time you eat or drink, and there you have it, the grand journey of a burp. But what if you're burping too much? Belching out the alphabet might win you points at parties, but excessive burping can signify something's off balance. You see, while occasional burping is perfectly normal, being a human whoopee cushion isn't. So, what could be causing this burp overload? Well, it could be as simple as your diet. Foods like beans, lentils, broccoli, onions, or fizzy drinks are notorious for producing gas in your gut. A quick fix might be to avoid these gas-generating goodies. But, if your burp o meter is still off the charts, it might be time to consider other causes. Health conditions such as gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, and gastritis can often lead to excessive burping. These conditions cause stomach acid to back up into your esophagus, triggering a burp bonanza. So, you're burping like a blue whale and want to deflate a bit? Here's what you can do. Reducing your burp output isn't rocket science, but it does require a bit of body awareness. Think of your body as a complex machine, and the burps are like the exhaust fumes. Too much and you know something's not quite right. So, how can we keep those burps in check? Well, it's all about the fuel you're putting into your machine. Eating slowly, for example, can reduce the amount of air you swallow while eating, which in turn cuts down on the burps. It's a simple switch, but it can make a huge difference. Next, consider what you're drinking. Carbonated drinks are like burp bombs waiting to explode. The gas in these drinks has to go somewhere, and more often than not, it comes out as a burp. By swapping out these fizzy drinks for still ones, you can significantly cut down on your burp output. And finally, keep a food diary. This isn't just for those watching their weight. By jotting down what you eat and drink, you can identify any triggers that lead to excessive burping. This way, you can adjust your diet and keep those burps at bay. Understanding your body is the first step to controlling your burps. So next time you burp, remember the journey you've just taken.